Hello and welcome to the Dundas Dashboard tutorial series. In this video, the check-in system, I'll be teaching you how to lock a dashboard for editing. The Dundas Dashboard platform contains a check-in check-out system that applies to all of the objects that you'll be building inside the platform, data connectors, virtual tables, dimensions, KPIs, dashboards, and the like. The check-in system allows for collaborative development. Each object can be checked out to one developer only. So I will check out an object, make my changes, and check it back in. And when I've checked it back in, the changes I've made are now exposed to other developers and eventual viewers to leverage. The object must be checked in before other developers can see the changes that I've made when I have an object checked out. The system is designed to maintain referential integrity between objects. It is not a version control system. There's no history of changes kept. There's a history of comments made during check-ins, but no actual check-in history. If you're looking to do version control, we'll discuss options around that in section 14 of this tutorial series. There's three symbols that are used as part of the check-in check-out system. The first is a green check mark. Any object in the Design Explorer with a green check mark on it is checked out by you and is available to be modified. Any object labeled with a red check mark is checked out by another user, and you can hover over the icon to see the details of the checkout. And finally, any object labeled with a blue plus is a brand new object that you've created that must be checked in before it's exposed to other developers and viewers. Here in the development environment, on the home screen, on the left hand side, I have a folder of KPIs open. We can see there are three KPIs in here. The first one, helpfully named KPI checked out by another user, is in fact checked out by the administrator and I can see when she checked out this object. The second object is checked out by me and available to be edited. And The third object is brand new, something I've created that needs to be checked in. You can click on this drop down arrow and go to properties to see a bit more about the checkout and the history of check in for this particular object. So the administrator checked this object in and she's left a comment talking about why she's modified the object. I can use the same drop down to check in an object when I'm done editing it. If you'd like to see all the objects that you've checked out, you can click on this icon here, My Pending Changes. So you can see I have four objects currently checked out available to me that need to be checked back in to be exposed to other users. I can select all of them here and add an additional comment to all of my check-ins if I'd like to. This data set here is actually referring to another object that has yet to be checked in. So if I want to check in this data set, Dundas is telling me it would also have to check in this virtual table so that all of my changes will be checked back in and available to everybody else. On the second tab of my browser, I have a small dashboard open that I'd like to edit. If I try and make changes, Dundas will warn me I've yet to check it out. I can click on the team icon and go to check out. The dashboard is now available for me to edit. If I make my changes, I have two options. First, I can save it. So I'll save these changes so that I can come back as a developer and reference these changes without exposing them to the rest of my team, without sharing the object for them to develop on top of. If I'm sure my changes are the correct ones, I can then click on team and check in. And I have the option to provide a comment for my check in. So that's an introduction to the check-in check-out system and the way to maintain integrity between development changes. If you'd like more information on this video or anything else involved in the Dundas training program, you can email us at training at dundas.com. For technical inquiries or to look up any of the terms that I've used in this video, visit our support site at support.dundas.com. Thank you.